let us see about milli area or prickly heat in today's video hi friends i am dr karamat this is scientific doctor channel in this channel health related explanations are provided via videos which are released every week if you want to see such videos kindly subscribe to this channel also press the bell icon adjacent to it to get instant notifications whenever new content is released this week's video is about prickly heat it's a very common occurrence this is also called as heat rash sweat rash or miliaria rubra rubra meaning red miliaria is this condition this happens because of the sweat glands the duct of the sweat glands getting blocked and the sweat getting accumulated below the skin this creates a reaction that's why you see these itchy red rashes miliaria can also be of other types called miliaria crystallina miliaria pustulosa so there can be other types of miliaria as i said the primary problem is blockage of sweat ducts so this happens often in summer in hot humid tropical environments what happens is there is excessive sweat secretion there is staphylococcus epidermidis a normal skin bacteria a normal inhabitant of skin which also secretes a biofilm along with dead cells this excessive sweat all this gets trapped and blocks the flow of sweat but ultimately because of the environment you are still sweating so this sweat gets accumulated in the inner layers of skin so that causes irritation and that is the reason for this sweat rash or heat rash as i said what are the risk factors so obviously environment a hot humid tropical environment especially to those who have not been acclimatized to such environment so a person who always lives in a cool country comes to a tropical country within two days he develops lots of these prickly heat or heat rashes similarly newborns and infants are at risk because they have an immature sweat ducts so that's why they are prone to blocking so they can also get malaria otherwise people with high fever with excessive sweating who wear very tight fitting clothes because no there is no escape mechanism and if the cloth is especially synthetic and non breathable okay then all this leads to malaria so what happens you have this red raised itchy stinging especially they start to sting even more when you are re exposed to heat so a person who has developed these rashes goes under the sun again no he gets a stinging sensation very heavily these rashes are usually located neck chest and other body fold areas they usually don't occur on palms and soles and especially sometimes these lesions because of itching as well as the you no know, lesion themselves they can get secondarily infected can become can contain pus and because of that may give rise to other complications including even fever so how to prevent this heat rash from happening we know the risk factors we need to avoid the risk factors so simply under hot sun if you are you no know, more active working you no know, it leads to malaria so what you need to do limit your activity under hot sun second if you are not exposed to or used to such environments try to be in shady environment or under the air conditioner inside cool places or in places with ventilation hydration obviously plays a role so drink lots of water remove occlusive you no know, clothing so no tight fitting wears especially in summer try to wear soft light cotton fabrics especially breathable fabrics so take frequent showers especially with cool water you can also use cool compresses to you no know, relieve this stinging or itching but avoid excessive soap use or use mild soap because excessive soap can again irritate the skin can increase this itching and stinging so have frequent showers yes use mild soap or even without soap okay by all this we try to prevent or you no know, have remedies at home what else can be done 
what medications can be given calamine no is a soothing and calming and cooling agent so obviously lotions containing calamine can be used for treatment of prickly heat now these lotions are available over the counter so you can buy and use them but generally calamine also has a drying action so use calamine lotions with emollients or with moisturizing properties or after calamine use no during that time also use emollients by this way you can circumvent the drying nature of calamine you obviously can also use this prickly heat powder generally the general talcum powders are not very much helpful they may reduce the stinging sensation for a bit but they are not useful specific prickly heat powders can be of use especially in reducing this bacterial because i said staph epidermidis that is the one of the core reasons for prickly heat they can reduce that number because they contain usually triclosan an antibacterial agent so thereby they might help but they may not always help because no they are not addressing the root problem they also sometimes contain antiperspirants but we don't know with exposure to heat what will be the effect of these prickly heat powder prickly heat powders definitely have role in reducing this bacterial incidence they are of help try them first okay but if the lesions are extensive you are not getting any help from calamine or prickly heat powders then what can be done you need to visit the doctor they may sometimes prescribe mild steroids or antibiotic creams sometimes if you have secondary infections over these prickly heat rashes and specific medications but word of caution you need to use either antibiotic creams or creams containing steroids only after consultation with your doctor generally they don't have any long term problems once you are out of that environment or if the climate improves they get better so there is no long term problems with prickly heat but sometimes what we may think as prickly heat might be some other skin conditions we might even miss now starting from fungal infections to eczemas as prickly heat so if you are not having resolution of the problem with simple household measures kindly visit a doctor to confirm the diagnosis hopefully with this video you would have got a clear idea about prickly heat or heat rash if you found this video useful kindly share it among your friends and relatives if you want to see such videos subscribe to this channel till we meet again bye